Hello, welcome to Career Quest. I'm your host, Mike Van Gilder, and I'm joined uh, with Rebecca Massey from Literacy Together. Um, Rebecca, why don't you tell us a little bit about what services are offered through Literacy Together that uh, people can come to you to uh, receive? Sure. Um, So we have three free tutoring programs. There is English as a Second Language. There is Youth Literacy And the program that I'm the director of is adult literacy. So in that program, we have tutors work with students um, on either basic literacy or all the way up to sort of GED level tutoring. And they work together for two hours a week at any time, place, and location that's convenient for the student, except in a student's private home. And uh, that we identify what the student's goals are, and they have one-on-one sort of tailor-made lessons to, to reach those goals with their with their tutor. Okay, so um, with with the tutors, how does um, someone you know get to join in or or be a tutor to, if they want to help out? Yeah, so if someone wanted to enroll in tutor training, the best thing to do is to give me a call to set it up, a call or an email, mm-hmm. and I'll throw my phone number in there. It's two five four three four four two extension two zero two. And uh, we could have a conversation about sort of the type of tutoring you'd like to do, what kind of work is most interesting to you. Because basic literacy tutoring is really different than, you know, opening up a pretty scary GED <laughs> level book yeah. um, and studying for a pretty hard test. So there's a wide range of opportunity for what tutors can do, depending on what they're most comfortable with. Okay. And if someone is looking to be a student mm-hmm. at Literacy Together, um, do they just come in? Do they have to set up an appointment? Setting up an appointment, yeah. Okay. Um, so setting up an appointment is the best thing. My day's usually pretty packed, but that's the most important thing in my job is to bring students into the program, mm-hmm. figure out what their goals are, and get them set up with the tutor as, as quickly as possible. And we very often have more tutors than we have students. So yeah. very often we're ready to go with help if the student needs it. And with the students, what is the most common, it might not even be a common concern, but maybe even answering what are just some of the concerns that uh, you guys or challenges that you guys have with the students besides just not knowing how to read? Mm-hmm. So the external barriers that our students have are are the primary reasons that they um have challenges with attendance and motivation and mm-hmm. things, lack of child care, lack of transportation, mm-hmm. issues, you know, with previous or sometimes current, you know, drug use um, and, or I should say drug abuse, um, you know, poverty, homelessness, a long list of, of things can be external barriers that keep them from being able to complete the program. Okay. And so we have a referral system where we try to link them to resources they need in the community if those are issues they're struggling with. Okay. And there's also a language barrier. So are you, how many of of the students that are coming in are actually, English is becoming a second language to them? So in my program, I, that's, that's not typically the population we work with. There's mm-hmm. an English as a second language program. So if people come in and they need to learn to speak English, mm-hmm. they go to a different program director for that program. And in my program, um, it's people who are almost always, some exceptions, but almost always native speakers. Okay. They just didn't learn to, to read and write. Okay. Um, and or they and or they didn't end up getting to the level where they could get their high school diploma. Okay. And so there are, you know, on the wide spectrum of, um, you know, literacy levels, we work with a wide range of people. Okay. So we, when people are coming in and, and you're assessing what they need, is are there times where you're combining like, hey, let's get you to learn how to read, but also let's get you a GED? Or, or do you kind of uh, tackle those issues separately? Well, it all starts with what the student says their goal is. And then we have literacy testing we do, which sort of shows where they score. Mm -hmm. And if there's a student who wants to get a GED, but they're not quite at the level that they need to be at to do that studying, because the GED test is very hard, then we'll say, okay, why don't we back up for a minute, make the GED a a goal. But right now, let's work on your basic literacy skills. And that takes as long as it takes. So there's a lot of reprioritizing and 
um, you know, just trying to figure out what are the most immediate needs of the student and how to address those. Yeah, it's 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 quite the um, it's it's like one of those needs that really kind of is kind of under the radar. A lot yeah. of people don't realize how many people really don't have. Um, literacy abilities mm-hmm. to, to read, to write, so they can fill out applications. And, and a program like Literacy Together really helps those people not only learn to read and write, but it's also going to help bring up their self-esteem, bring mm-hmm. up their confidence as they go out and, and start looking for mm-hmm. work uh, out here in Asheville. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, and again, uh, it's it's such a great program, um, Literacy Together. Uh, if you're looking for more information on that, uh, Rebecca Massey, her contact information we've uh, stated earlier, feel free to contact them, see how Please you can do. help and get involved. Thank mm-hmm. you very much. Appreciate yes. your time. Thank you.